Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Simtag05. So this is the playlist for the Abacus beginners and we try to explain all the basic concept of Abacus. So even if you are new user, you can learn Abacus very easily. You have to start with Abacus basic 01 video and you can go with all the videos and Abacus 09 was the last video that I uploaded about the assembly. So up to this point, I covered the basic massing, advanced massing, modeling and advanced modeling. In advanced modeling, one more topic that is very demanding is wireframe model. Of course, you can create such wireframe models in CAD softwares, but how we can create in Abacus itself that we will learn. So apart from you can go with these two basic videos, Introduction to Finite Element Analysis and CAE, and why we need massing, how it is important in simulation. And if you want to learn more about the element safe function and mass refinement, you can go with this video also. So today's video will be Abacus Basic 10 and that will be wireframe advanced modeling in Abacus. So let's start and uh, let me show you one complex component, this one. So this is the transmission tower and having lots of members in it. And you can see this is quite complex to build. And if you try to build even in CAD software, you will face many difficulties. Okay. So what we can do, we can create such components, such complex component in Abacus itself. I got hundred of queries about the connectivity issues in such problem. If you create such components in any CAD software and import in Abacus or in any C software, you may face connectivity issues. Actually, there should not be any connectivity issue, but you might made any mistake in CAD software. That's why you face the connectivity issue. Otherwise, there should not be any connectivity issue. So, I prefer to design such complex component within the Abacus itself because there are very easy features are available and dedicately wire features are available to create such complex wireframe feature. So, let me start and let me so you one more component model i'm not going to create the complete transmission tower in this video because it's take lots of hours to complete this task okay so instead we will create a simple assembly likewise and within few commands only within six seven commands only you are able to create such component okay so let me show you go to create one more part let's say our practice okay. and how to start actually let me show you this is our model one how to start can i start by creating the reference points by coordinate measurement or should i create four lines so there are lots of ways but those all ways will be difficult for you i will tell you the simplest way let me go to the our practice model and instead of creating any wire point i am going to create a solid let's say this is our tower component and canvas size approximate 5 click on ok my top face or i can say the top member size of the transmission tower is around 1 similarly here also it is 1 I want to create the symmetric line, reference line, let's say these are two reference line, may not visible, go to the view and graphic options and default graphic options, click on ok, now it is visible to you, go to fix, make them fix, then go to symmetry, about this axis, these two lines are symmetry, again click on symmetry, about this axis, these two lines are symmetric. That's fine. Okay. Now go to the depth. This depth is actually the height of the tower that I want to define. And that is the size of the top members. Okay. 1 meter around. And depth is around 10 meter. Now the important point. If you don't create 
geometry with draft angle what will happen it will create a simple extrusion but i want to define the x draft angle of 5 okay so it will be drafted likewise it will be drafted likewise if you feel the draft angle is higher then you can just go to the feature solid extrusion and you can define the draft angle as 3 maybe okay this will be your final body so now from this body i want to create the wireframe feature so instead of creating the wires i am going to extract these wires so that will be the fundamental concept and before extracting wire let me make partition of the transmission tower so you may have some distance and you can create the reference plane likewise this is the options create datum plane xy plane from the zero then again xy plane you may have distance of two and distance of four then distance of six then again distance of eight last is 10 you don't need to create but if you want to create for the reference you can create likewise so these 10 reference plane i have and with respect to this reference plane i want to split my geometry so go to the split options this is the second one partition using datum plane so it is asking for the datum plane directly because only one body i have this one create partition now it is asking for cell or body to partition select select the reference plane select and reference plane i'm going to press mb2 button that is your mouse roll button to choose as a okay okay i'm not going to click here again then selecting this solid and click on done so what i will do i will simply press mouse button to select the wire done okay so partition is created so now i want to extract these features these edges actually here we have very beautiful options that is edges from the solids even not from solid you can create from the surfaces also okay and select the all edges click on yes then it is going to show you the warning message and then again you are able to generate this feature that's very beautiful that's fine the first step is completed here you can see the model one the first step okay here the draft angle might be more in our case uh, we reduce the draft angle here the first step is completed the base frame is created now i want to create this internal wires so how to create those internal wires just go to the part modeling and do not create one more part and then create one wire and uh, make them assemble and do not use this typical method instead what you have to use you have to use here the second options not the first first one is to create the wire on a plane second one is the options that we want to use means this options is able to generate wire with respect to the selected point so very beautiful options it is and you have to choose the points by using this options add options let's say this point i'm selecting any point you can select but this i'm selecting for the better understanding see i'm able to create four wires at a time okay if you want to create more wires here do not select likewise otherwise what will happen see here we already have wires and this will be overlap so just go back click on done only this four wire i created at a time then again click on this plus button go to select this point second point and then third point select precisely select very precisely if anything wrong oh, like likewise i selected this point wrongly just go back and select this reference point click on done then again first second third four and again the first point click on done click on plus first point second point third point fourth point and again this first point similarly the last member 
means last group of member first point second point third point fourth point fifth point and click on okay make sure you create set of files okay so see how beautifully and how easily we are able to generate such complex wireframe model even if you want to generate more wires you can go with same options again let's say this wire i want to generate okay now one more member i want to create here so do not choose likewise select third point and fourth point here total three member i created one member second member and third member and actually i wanted to create only one member and second member go back go back just these two points okay click on done only one member i am creating at a time then these two point and one more member and here also these two point these two point hope you got the idea how easy it is creating such complex part within few clicks only let me complete it this point and these two points oh uh, by fault i created okay no worry uh, so you you have this this assembly and how much command we utilize let's check see this is my solid object then i created few partition plane have partition exactly from the mid you can directly create the partition no need of this partition plane okay so i am not considering this partition planes so how much steps we have this solid extrusion step then these partition steps then wire from the edges then this two wire how much command more than not more than 6 7 command okay so in 6 7 commands you are able to generate such beautiful feature let's say by fault we we clicked on ok button and we forgot this so what you can do you can go with again at the wire to create like the first point second point that's fine if you if you have coordinate you, even you can go with the coordinates okay that's fine so this model this transmission tower not the transmission tower actually tutorial tower you can say this tutorial tower is completed the actual tower the transmission tower is very complex okay here it is very complex after creating this base feature it is very complex to choose point here so that's why it will take lots of time even may take whole day to complete because we have to select point very precisely so i hope you got a clear concept clear idea to creating such complex wireframe feature in abacus itself and let me show you one more thing this tower yes we created in abacus itself so the massing of this component will be very easy without any problem okay let me hide those i cannot suppress okay so it is not possible to hide from here just go to the hide remove selected what i want to select actually i want to select the datums where it is yes here it is select the datums go to the height i selected and added the datums so i want to match this let me show the seeding let's say default seeding is 0 0.28 and see exactly at the corner we have one mid we have one node okay that means they, they are correctly connected means all member are correctly connected here so let's say instead of 0 0.28 0 0.25 click on apply okay and then go with the mass yes this component is matched now make sure the element type of course we have to utilize here beam member so it is already selected beam if you want to go with the quadratic one you can go with the quadratic one okay. 
and that's all so fine in next video we will start the general static step and then we will go with the geometric nonlinearity material nonlinearity and contact nonlinearity problem so thank you for listening stay tuned with this playlist if you are new user that will be surely very helpful to all of you thank you again